We'll start by using our circular flow diagram to demonstrate the impact of government spending on total spending and income and output. The government, as we saw in the budget, spends on everything from roads and power stations to schools and healthcare. In our circular flow diagram, government spending must clearly be included as part of total spending in the economy. So our total spending equation is actually consumption spending plus investment spending plus government spending. As the government orders more goods and services, firms respond by increasing output to meet this need. So the level of production rises. So more factors of production are employed. So household income increases, which in turn leads to higher consumption spending, sparking even more production, even higher incomes and further spending. The multiplier process is taking effect. Government spending is therefore an injection into the circular flow of spending, output and income. An increase in government spending stimulates total spending and therefore production and income in the economy increases. On the flip side, a drop in government spending decreases total spending in the economy and production and income decline. 